An airplane doesn't just hold one passenger. It holds everyone on board plus the fuel tanks. How does it manage that? The answer lies in something engineers call distributed loads. One like a single force acting at one point. A distributed load spreads out over an entire area or length. Think of an airplane wing. The fuel, passengers, and structure all add weight across the span. This connects directly to wing loading, which is the total weight of the aircraft divided by the wing's area. If the wing loading is too high, the plane struggles to generate enough lift to take off. In engineering, we represent these loads as force per unit length, like kilonewtons per meter. This lets us calculate how beams bend, how supports react, and how to keep the structure stable and safe. Distributed loads give us a more realistic view of the forces that real structures face. Without them, our calculations would oversimplify, and we'd miss the full picture of how materials actually behave under stress. Make sure to follow and subscribe, because in the next video, we'll tackle a practice problem step by step to see how distributed loads are handled in engineering. And later, we'll connect this to real-world examples, like airplane wings and trailers on the road. Stay tuned.